Hello again, I'm Veronica Pedroza and I'm talking to the former Prime Minister of Thailand, Thaksin Shinawat. I know that you have said that you are planning to quit politics, but many people in Thailand would like to see you take the job that you were democratically elected to perform. Well, you know, I, I love democracy. I love my people, I love my countries. And uh, also I revere and loyal to their majesty, the king and the queen. I really like to uh, uh, continue work for the people in the countries and the monarch. But uh, I think the things that happened in September 19, it told me that it's time for me to quit politics. Have you made any attempts to reach out to the military government? Have they responded? Well, I I talked to I talked to uh, some of the uh, of the members of the junta. I talked to the prime minister that uh, I you know as a former prime minister, I mature enough. I love my country. Don't worry that I gonna be involved in any kind that create uh, a problems to the countries. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I read um, a media report that said mm -hmm. that the way that you handled the situation in the South, they felt made matters worse. You have to use both iron fist mm -hmm. and vivid glove. Iron fist is mean that law enforcement. You have to bring law and order. And uh, another size that you have to provide all kind of assistance, giving uh, innocent people protection, education, economic assistance, this kind of thing. We have done a lot in the past. But what was your reaction, for example, when you heard that some 80 Muslims mm -hmm. died in police custody, crowded mm -hmm. in the back of a truck? Yes. That is, uh, we, I set up the independent uh, committee yes. to, to do the investigation already, mm -hmm. and we punished some of officials. But mm. the thing is that the truck mm. doesn't well equipped mm. to, to, to carry mm. the, uh, the, the offenders. I think it's by negligence of the uh, low level of officers. But what did you think? What did you feel? You've come under criticism. People well, may I, have thought I, that I, you were anti-Muslim uh, because of no, the way you handled no. the situation. My government provide a lot of activities mm -hmm. to the Muslim, which is we understand them much more better. I understand many part of Quran, mm -hmm. and I so uh, I also uh, send the poor mm -hmm. that good behaviors to um, Mecca mm -hmm. for Hajj. And I also set up the uh, uh, Sharia Bank or the Muslim Bank in Thailand. That's the first time ever. Mm -hmm. And I sent many uh, poor student uh, Muslim to uh, to school in Bangkok, and then I I did a lot for for them, mm -hmm. and I improved a lot of uh, 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 their living standard. Do you have any regrets over? the way that you handled things that I, I may think, have kept think, you in office. I maybe. think whoever is the prime minister at that time, mm. that is the best choice that we have to do. We cannot just uh, just do, do nothing and let them kill the innocent people every day. Prime minister uh, duty is not just the southern part of Thailand. That's a lot of things, including tsunami, mm. including uh, uh, SARS, uh, bird flus, and so many uh, 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 current issues every day. So when I handle things, I try to explain, but sometimes the press is not cover what I have explained because the new thing happened. You're not in the Prime Minister's office. Where does the real power lie in Thailand? The, the power must lie in the hands of people. The people can have to decide their own destiny. But there are some group of people try to decide the destiny of the whole the people of the whole population themselves. They're trying to be represent the majority the, the, the whole peop, the whole the pe whole population, which they are not. 
no one can take away their democracy for long. They have to return democracy back to the people. And the people, the Thai people are very patient, but their tolerance period is not that long. So when they said that they would like, they would return the power to the people in one year, they got to do it. If they are not doing it, I don't think the people will, uh, will, will allow them to, to hold the power. And finally, what do you think then the future of this military government is going to be? It sounds to me like you don't think that they're going to be able to stay for long. They have to return power back to the people. They cannot hold power forever. This is the first time that they stage the coup against the popular government. So if they, you stage the coup against the popular government, you don't have to waste the time to justify the coup. But you should ha take the time to reconciliate the difference of the people of two sides. Like I said, clapping hand, you need two hands. You not just you cannot need one hand. I can help. I'm willing to help because I want to see Thailand moving forward. I want to see unity of the Thai people and I want to see the confidence in Thailand from the investor, the visitors to be continued. I know I said that was the final question, but I have to follow up because you said you can help. Yes. If you're not going back to politics, how can you help? In I, what capacity? I, I can help without going to politics. If they think, you know, the two sides have to be united, uh, we can, we, we, we just, be, like I said, you know, the, the, the Thai culture is the culture of forgiveness. If we both sides come and talk, said that, okay, you know, we should, we should move, we, we shouldn't waste our time. We should moving our country forward. We should reconciliate the difference between the two sides. And, uh, you know, I think this is, this is the thing that the Thai people want to see. But if you keep alleged with baseless allegations, <coughs> with no evidence, mm -hmm. and try to bend existing law in order to prosecute someone, to justify your action, so that is not going to help but better do the national reconciliation. That is, I really want to see. So is that the future that you see for yourself, going back to Thailand mm -hmm. and going back to Thailand in some civilian or non-political role right. and uh, mm -hmm. as a philanthropist or something like this? Is, mm -hmm. that, is that the role that you see for yourself in yes. the future? Yes, yes, yes. And also, I want to say stay with my family because you know I've been working hard mm. since uh, I have my children because I work, you know, I, I work hard in time my life. Mm -hmm. I help my parents doing business when I was a young boy. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I went to school, I, I worked hard until I finished with my PhD. Mm -hmm. And then when I marry, I have my children, I work hard mm -hmm. to uh, bring up my family. And now when I enter politics, I work hard for my party and for the government and for the people of Thailand and the monarch. But now I'm bad luck and lucky at the same time. Bad luck being ousted uh, from what I'm doing for the country is not finished. And a lot of things has been finished, a lot of things is not finished. I like to see uh, democracy to be well. I want to see the uh, trust and confidence to Thailand to continue. I want to see Thailand on the radar screen of international. Mm. And uh, that's it's very unfortunate. Another size, I want, to, I want to thank the coup, the junta, that allowed me to retire <laughs> so I can have more time with my family. Kuntak <laughs> 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 Simchinawat, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you very much.